Hey, how you doing econ students? This is Jacob Clifford. So here's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna cover the seven steps you need to rock the AP exam. And I promise you, you will do remarkably better if you do these things. Very first step, you've got to go take a practice AP test. A lot of students forget this step. Before you review, before you look at anything, let's find out where you are. Go to your teacher, say, hey, I need the most recent AP test. Can I please have one? I wanna try it on my own, and hopefully they have extra tests. But try it before you review anything, because that'll give you where you are. Your teacher has them, the you know, 2017, 16, 15, 14, the AP College Board folks are giving teachers tests, so you can go to your teachers and ask one. Or if you have the ultimate review packet, I have four full practice this test in there with keys. So take a look at those if you need help, but you gotta start by taking a test. Also keep in mind that passing AP test is not the same as passing one of your other tests, right? Here's the breakdown for AP macroeconomics for the 2017 exam. Now here's the 2017 for the micro test. It's a little different. This one was a little uh, easier a test because the numbers for some reason, if you got 51%, then that means you end up getting a three on this test. And that brings me to step number two, take your answers on the practice test, get the key, correct them, See how many you missed, how many you got right, how many you got wrong, and then do exam corrections. Go over each one of those questions in the order of difficulty. I've got these download PDFs for you for the 2017 and the 2016 AP exams. Now, these tell you which questions were the hardest ones and the easiest ones, and they're from easy to hard order. So right here on the micro test 2016, the easiest question was uh, question number 30. 89% of the students got that one correct. So that's a really easy question. So when you're doing exam corrections, figure out which ones you miss. If you end up missing question, let's say, I don't know, 27, you you should have gotten that one right. Everyone else got it right. And I also have the bottom half of this list right here. These are the hardest questions. If you miss question uh, 21 on the 2016 micro exam, who cares? Everyone missed that question, not a big deal. You gotta focus on the ones that you should have gotten right. But I can't give you the actual test. I can't give you the 2016 and 2017 test because uh, they, the college board says I can't. You have to go ask your teacher for those exams. And step number three, develop a review strategy based on your performance on that test. So take a look at your results, see what units you're, you need more help on, and then focus Focus on the units and concepts and the skills that are most frequently asked. Here's a percentage and here's the different units that I teach according to my YouTube videos. You can see not all units are equally important, right? So if you're like, oh, I'm great at unit one, that's good, but it's only worth 10% on that AP test. No, this is, by the way, I wanna point out, this is the multiple choice questions. These are not the free response questions. It's based on the multiple choices, how often they ask concepts inside these different units. When you're reviewing, spend your time and energy where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. You get the most bang for your buck in macroeconomics at unit three and unit four. Now, I also have a breakdown for micro. It looks like this for microeconomics, but you understand the same concept applies in both tests, right? Step four, watch the unit summary videos and the unit Unit practice multiple choice question videos that I made for each unit. Now these come along with the ultimate review packet. You've got to get the packet in order to watch these videos. Also uh, inside the ultimate review packet, I have some guided notes. The guided notes in there are basically these really short summaries of the unit, but they're a bunch of practice questions. Like they're not like notes. You like you you know you watch a video and you fill out this little section that talks about you know the money multiplier, and then you you know, watch the video and you fill out this you know uh, section about drawing a monopoly graph. And so as you watch the video and you fill out the guided notes, that'll help you stay engaged so you're not just watching a video and forgetting what you're actually learning in the first place. Step five, remember the AP test has two thirds multiple choice questions and one third for responses. Step five is right here, take at least 10 practice for responses. These are all available on the College Board website. They're the release for responses. Pick 10 of them and try them based on the concepts that you need to practice the most. Now keep in mind on my website, acdcecon.com, I have a free response breakdown where I list them by topic and frequency. So you can see how often they ask certain questions and it tells you which question it was too. So 2017 asks about Phillips curve and you can go look up that question. You can go try those free response questions. And inside the ultimate review packet, I put more than 35 free response videos where I go over the answers to 35 different free responses. And basically, you know, you do the free response on your own, and if you're confused, watch the video, I explain the entire thing. Step six, take another full length practice exam. As you get done reviewing, as you get close to AP test, two or three days beforehand, sit down and do it one last time. Do the entire thing, see if you get, you know, a, a two, three, four, five. The last one, step number seven, watch the everything you need videos 30 minutes before you walk into that AP test. Now these videos are 30 minutes long and basically they cover everything to know for you know AP microeconomics all in like 30 minutes. Here's a key graph, I'm going super fast. And then there's another one for macroeconomics. So watch 
watched that video to get it all kind of back in your brain one last time. And as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube videos, for supporting my channel by getting the packet. Seriously, I appreciate it so much. I hope these videos and these resources are gonna help you out. Good luck on your AP test. Until next time.